In response to food ingestion, an incretin hormone called GLP-1 or glucagon-like peptide 1 is released from the L cells of the small intestine and colon. In healthy individuals, it allows appropriate insulin and glucagon responses to control blood glucose levels. This is called the incretin effect. GLP-1 binds to receptors in the pancreas, signaling beta cells to increase insulin secretion and pancreatic alpha cells to suppress glucagon secretion, which results in decreased hepatic glucose production. When blood glucose is low during fasting states, GLP-1 doesn't act, allowing glucagon to signal the liver to release stored glucose. GLP-1 also delays gastric emptying. Once again, GLP-1 works in the gut, liver, and pancreas. In the gut, it slows gastric emptying. In the liver, it suppresses hepatic glucose production by inhibiting pancreatic glucagon secretion. In the pancreas, it stimulates insulin release in response to glucose, which is all part of the incretin effect. In healthy people, the incretin effect accounts for up to 70% of postprandial insulin secretion. However, in people with type 2 diabetes, the incretin effect is impaired. The incretin effect is impaired in people with type 2 diabetes. This is a key marker of the disease, along with beta cell dysfunction and insulin resistance. In people with type 2 diabetes, there is diminished GLP-1 activity in the gut, liver, and pancreas. Without adequate GLP-1 response to hyperglycemia, the pancreas doesn't release an appropriate amount of insulin based on the glucose load. Additionally, the alpha cells are still producing glucagon which causes the liver to continue releasing stored glucose, adding to hyperglycemia. In the gut, the incretin effect is decreased and gastric emptying does not slow down. Victoza liraglutide injection 1.2 mg or 1.8 mg is 97% similar to native GLP-1-7-37. It binds to and activates GLP-1 receptors when food enters the gut and blood glucose levels rise. Unlike native GLP-1, which has a half-life of 1.5 to 2 minutes, Victoza has a half-life of 13 hours, allowing for once-daily dosing. Just like native GLP-1, Victoza works in the gut, liver, and pancreas to help control hyperglycemia. Victoza delays gastric emptying slowing the rate at which glucose enters the blood after meals and responds to rising blood glucose levels. Victoza signals pancreatic beta cells to increase the release of insulin. Victoza reduces hepatic glucose output by decreasing glucagon secretion from pancreatic alpha cells. Victoza works in a glucose-dependent manner, leading to a low rate of hypoglycemia. When blood glucose is high, Victoza stimulates insulin release and reduces glucagon secretion. When blood glucose is normal or low, Victoza does not stimulate insulin secretion or suppress glucagon secretion. By addressing the impaired incretin effect in type 2 diabetes, Victoza addresses many of the primary causes of hyperglycemia, helping to improve glucose control in adults with type 2 diabetes.